Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I am, I don't know about you, but I'm glad to be here this morning. I'm glad to be anywhere this morning because the alternative is not good. Amen. Amen. How many of y'all know that Sacred Heart and Baptist Hospital have beds that are open right now? Y'all ain't going to talk back to me today. Y'all going to, am I Alice in Wonderland? You don't know who I am? How many of y'all know that Baptist Hospital and Sacred Heart got some open beds? So I'm glad to be here. I don't know about you, but I'm just glad to be here in this season of Advent. Amen. Now, can we give God some praise this morning up in here? Amen. Amen. I want to thank you for that applause. That was real nice if it was just for me. But I said, let's give God some praise. Let's give God some praise. For he is worthy. He is worthy. Amen. We are on the verge of a new year. And we are about to step over into a new year. We are about to go into an area where we did not know we were going to be. A lot of people will recall the roll. Twelve months ago, they answered the roll. But today, they can't say nothing. Amen. We don't lost some people in 2021, but thanks be to God, we're here. This ain't no fake, phony, or fictitious praise. I'm telling you right now, I'm glad to be in the house of God. I'm not trying to pump you up. I ain't no cheerleader, never have been, never will be. But if you got something to praise God for, you ought to open your mouth and let it be known. Because praise is giving your ruach, your breath, back to God. When he breathed into you and made you a living spirit, he breathed his roar, his wind into you. So can you open your mouth and give God back the praise that he gave you when he brought you to this world? The Lord name be praised. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. The call to worship. Oh, come, let us sing for joy to the Lord, for he is worthy of our praise. Let us shout joyfully to the rock of our salvation. He is worthy of our praise. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving. He is worthy of our praise. Let us shout joyfully to him with songs. You can say it with me. He is worthy of our praise. If you look behind me, you're going to see a beautiful choir. Oh, look at the babies on the front row and little baby one in the back. Amen. 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 You may be seated. We're going to have an opening selection, um, and then we will move on with the program. Amen. Amen.
Praise the Lord. Let's give our youth choir another hand clap of praise. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Go with me to the throne of grace. Oh, God, our Father. Our creator, our sustainer, the supplier of all our needs. God, you are our source, our alpha and omega, God. Lord God, we could do nothing without you. And everything that we are is because of you. So God, we thank you. We honor you. We glorify you. We invite your presence into this building, oh God. Because we know that your Holy Spirit dwells within us. So Holy Spirit, you're welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. We are gathered to praise and worship your holy name. As we think upon the thing that you have done for us in this season, you sent your only son to come into this world, to go through a plan that he necessarily did not want. But God, because you love us enough, he fulfilled the plan that you set before him. So God, we, we thank you for this Advent season that we can celebrate the birth of your son, our savior. God, we thank you that we get to gather with our family and friends, God, as we show love to our neighbor and love our neighbor as ourselves, God, that this is a season of giving because you gave the ultimate gift. So, God, we thank you. We thank you for another Sunday to worship you in spirit and in truth, God. We thank you that we didn't wake up in a hospital bed this morning. We thank you that an ambulance was not called to our bedside. We thank you that even if we started the week that way, that today we were able to walk into your house, oh God. God, we thank you for keeping us through another week. We thank you for continuing to sustain us in the midst of whatever it is your children may be facing. Oh God, as it is Waukee this Sunday, we lift up our youth to you, God. From the youngest to the oldest, God. God, you know what your children have need of, oh God. So God, we ask that you supply their very need, oh God. We lift up everyone that encounters your children in the name of Jesus. Have thine own way, like only you can. Bless our pastor as he brings forth the word on this Sunday, Lord God. Give him the boldness to speak just as you have given it to him. God, we thank you that you've chosen to use us on today. We lift up your people before you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Hallelujah and amen. Thank you, God. Yes, Lord. For every mountain, God, yes, sir, that you brought us over. Thank you, God. For every trial, oh God, that you've seen us through. Thank you, God. For every blessing, oh God, we say hallelujah, oh God. It's for these things, yes, sir, that we give you praise for today, God. For each and every thing, oh God, we lift it up before you, oh God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Glory to your name, God. Thank you, Lord.
glory be to God. Amen. At this time, we will have our scripture by Sister Monica Tellis, which will be Philippians 4, 4 through 7, and she will also do the Decalogue. Amen. May be seated in the presence of the Lord. Amen. All right. Good morning, Allen Chapel. Good morning. good morning. It is now time for our announcements. I promise I will not be before you long. But how many people like pound cake and sweet potato pie? Anybody? Am I the only one? No, of course not. Well, guess what? Allen Chapel has you covered for your holiday desserts. You can place your order now for a whole sweet potato pie. Can I get an amen? amen. A whole pound cake. Amen. amen. Or you can order some mini sweet potato pies. You can go to allenchapelpensacola.org and place your order now. We are accepting orders up until the 19th. Somebody say the 19th. 19th. And you can pick them up on December 23rd. So guess what? We can do your Christmas baking for you. Amen. Amen. That's a blessing, isn't it? Amen. Also, for your pleasure, we have our fish dinner sale that will be coming up January the 12th, January the 12th, January the 12th, January the 12th. But guess what? You can place your order now. Hello. www.allenchapelpensacola.org. Come on, y'all. org. Place your order now. Amen. You don't want to miss our fish dinner sale. Also, we definitely want to um, display our main event for the new year. Um, this is, I think, one of the best things that we're going to do um, coming up in the new year. And it's our first fruit celebration. Somebody say celebration. Celebrate. That means it's a good time. It's a party. It's a party. It's a party. And what are we doing? We are celebrating by giving unto God our 
first fruit because we believe we are crazy enough to believe that if we sow our first fruit seed that God is going to supply so many needs we are going to reap such a huge harvest in the name of Jesus amen so join us and celebrate with us and that will be January 23rd 2022 if the lord say so amen amen praise god now we want to acknowledge all of our visitors those of you that are joining us live stream those that are in the building we thank you you and you for choosing allen chapel to come and worship with us on this morning and we pray that you will return amen now going along with our first fruits we're gonna keep that celebration going because now it is time for us to give unto god amen it's giving time y'all amen this is where we get to try god it's the only time god tells us to try him to test him and we definitely want to put action behind that so if you would like to give to this ministry we have multiple ways of giving um if you're in the building the ushers will be more than glad to give you an envelope you can do cash app which is dollar sign allen chapel amecp and you can also give by debit or credit card via paypal if you're watching virtually you can scan your screen and have access to either one of those platforms if you would like to send it through the mail we definitely will accept that the address is 500 north gilmar street pensacola florida 32501 wow. amen so at this time as you are preparing your gifts to give unto god our choir will give us a wonderful selection as we give in this spirit amen
Yes. Yes, sir. All things come to thee, O Lord, and of thine own have we given thee. YPD choir, another hand clap of praise. Amen. Amen. At this time, we will have our Advent reading because this Sunday is our third Sunday of Advent, and we get to light the candle of joy on this morning. We have Sister Allison Reynolds who will be doing our reading on this morning. Amen. For the shepherd to the angel sang a message of joy, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in clothes and placed him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over the flock by night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today, in the town of David, in the town of David, a Savior has been born. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in clothes and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of heavenly hosts appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to men on whom he favors them. When the angels had left, when the angels had left to them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has taught us. Today we relight the first two candles of the Advent season, the candle of hope and the candle of peace. Now we light the third candle of Advent. This is the candle of joy. As the coming of Jesus our Savior draws nearer, our joy builds in the anticipation of his birth. From the book of Isaiah, we see the words of our Lord. Matthew 10. Matthew 2, 10 through 10 say, When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. And they opened their treasures and presented him with the gift of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Let us pray. We joyfully praise you, O Lord, for the fulfillment of your promises of our Savior and what that meant in our lives. Thank you for the gift of salvation through the birth of your Son. Create us anew as we wait and help us to keep it warm as you still as you still our lives. Amen. We thank Sister Allison Reynolds and Sister Ethel Grice for providing us with our Advent lighting, reading and lighting of the candles, amen. Just a few corrections, well, one correction. Our fish dinner sale is actually on January the 14th. So y'all say January the 14th. Amen, that's the fish dinner sale. <laughs> amen. Um, one more thing, um, we have our Allen Chapel mask that you can now purchase okay go ahead our model 
Yes. Come on, twirl for us. Come on. Our motto. Amen. <laughs> you can now rep your church safely. Amen. By purchasing one of our masks, um, please feel free to reach out to place your order. Amen. Amen. At this time, we will not prolong the program any further. Um, we will have our altar prayer by the Reverend Carrie Brown. And then this wonderful, energetic YPD choir will give us another selection. And then you will hear none other, the shepherd of this house, Reverend Freddie Nathan Tellis, who has a word for for us from the Lord. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord. Amen. It's good to be in the house of the Lord one more time. Hallelujah. It's a blessing to be here. Let us pray. And this morning I will pray the covenant names of God. Father God, as we come boldly before your throne of grace this morning, we worship you, we praise you, we adore you, we lift you up. We thank you, Father, and we bless your holy and your righteous name. And now, Father, we thank you for your covenant names that you have given us. We thank you, Father, because you are El El Yon. You are the Most High God. You are far above all principalities, might, and dominion. We thank you this morning, dear Father, because you are El El Yom. You, Elohim, you are the God of creation. You are the creator of the universe. You are the creator of the heavens and the earth. And you are the creator of all that dwell therein. We thank and praise you this morning, dear Father, because you are El Shaddai. You are the God of much more. And you provide more than enough for each of us. You are self-sufficient, are the self-sufficient one who supplies all of our needs. We thank and praise you this morning, dear Father, because you are Jehovah, the great I am. You are the self-existing one who never leaves us, who always leads us to what we need because you are everything that we need. We thank you this morning, dear Father, and praise you because you are Jehovah Nisi. You are the Lord of our banner. You are our, the high tower against our enemy. We thank you, Father, this morning because you are Jehovah Jireh. You are the Lord our banner. You are our high tower against all of our enemies. We thank and praise you this morning, dear Father, because you are Jehovah Rapha. You are the Lord who is always with us and you heal us. We thank and praise you this morning, dear Father, because you are Jehovah's sick canoe. You are the Lord, our righteousness. And because you are our righteousness, you have placed us in right standing with you. And therefore, we come boldly before your throne of grace. Thank you this morning, dear Father, because you are Jehovah's kick Makedis. You are the Lord, our sanctification. You have sanctified us. You have justified us. And you have redeemed us with the blood of the Lamb. You have made us be holy and to be used for your glory. We thank you this morning, dear Father, because you are Jehovah Shammah. You are always there for us. You will never leave us, neither forsake us all the days of our lives. You are the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. We thank you, dear Father, because you are Jehovah Rohi. You are the Lord our shepherd, and we shall not want or be in light for any good thing because you provide all of our needs and some of our wants. And now, Father, we thank you for revealing yourself through us, through your names. We worship and praise you for your names, and you are to us who you are to us. We thank you, Father, for giving us one name that is a conglomeration of all of the covenant names. We give you praise, adoration, thanksgiving for this name. 
It is the name that is greater and higher than any other name, not only in this world, but also in that which is to come. The name that he has and will cause every knee to bow and every tongue to confess that he is Lord. The name of Jesus Christ, your son, our Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name, amen. Think on two weeks ago. 
ago. They go three weeks ago. I can they go five minutes ago because I'm breathing. I walked in this building and God is able. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. I was at a I was at a service on yesterday and I heard the preacher say this I know we got on mask but this is a mask it's not a muzzle so you can praise the Lord come on with me and praise God come on y'all it's a mask it's not a muzzle it's not a muzzle, it's a mask.
I want all the children to be on the first two rows. If you're under the age of 18, I want all the children on the front two rows. If you got to come and sit with them, come on, sit with them. But I want all the children on the front two rows for a few minutes. Anywhere on the front two rows up here. Come on, children. Amen. The Holy Spirit is in this place. Come on up, children. Come on up, children. Come on, quickly, quickly. Come on, first two rows. Come on, children. Quickly, quickly. Come on, come on. Come on. Right, right here. Come on. Come on. Come on. First two rows. Before I start, I want to acknowledge those four young men that you saw up in the choir. Uh, one of them on the saxophone. Okay, leave your baby alone, mama. Leave your baby alone. Leave your baby alone. Brother Wright, tell my, brother Wright, tell mama to leave you alone for right now. But these young men are professional musicians. And brother Wright, I cut an article out of the newspaper and I had it on a board out there. Uh, he was touring with a group. He's, he's still touring. He finished touring. But I had him on the board out there for the last couple of months because we're so proud of him. Um, is that young lady next to you a friend of yours? Or, uh, yeah. So when it's over, I'm going to tell us some stories about you when you were little. Okay. Is that all right? But I want to thank, and where's uh, Gamaleo? Where, where's he? Okay. And uh, this young man, I want to acknowledge them because these are young people in the house of the Lord. Amen. I think we can give God some praise for that, right? The one thing I know about these young people, these young adults, is that they can be cynical at times. <laughs> 